What's up everyone, welcome to today's video. Um, so as you guys saw in my last video, my axle decided to like take crap. Started like clicking like hardcore. Um, I made a poll on Instagram and surprisingly I got more replies than I expected. Uh, I asked should I do a how to video on how to do the axle. Um, it is only one today that I'm gonna be replacing, but it's the same for both sides. So um, everybody said yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So uh, just stay tuned. All right, we're gonna start by taking the tire off. In case the car falls. Oh, look at that. So this is what gave it away. This is what you can hear in the last video. So yeah. Okay, so new theory. These are, I'm gonna put them in the lock position, but this still spins with a tire in the air. So I'm gonna guess that's why I wasn't going up obstacles. So there's only one way to find out. Oh man, it's destroyed. When I get it fixed, I'll probably be going back to Claycorn though, just to check if this makes a difference. Next, we're gonna remove the manual lock and hub. Not everybody has these, these are aftermarket. Um, I don't have an example of the stock ones, but if you go to your car and you don't have these, you'll know it's different. It's kind of same process, but instead of taking these off, this phase, you're gonna take these off. So. <laughs> you don't want people to see the shark feet? <laughs> Alright, so next we're gonna remove the C clip plier that's in their C clip in there. Hopes if you have some of these C clip pliers. Not necessary, but it makes your life a whole lot easier. No? That's okay. This is what your C clip looks like. A little C with an opening. Okay, so next we're gonna remove those bolts. You can see right there. There's six of them. None of this. this right now today, just mm -mm. to see the door right now. <laughs> I do too. Like, uh, I made flying and then I, I've made crumbs. Did you get up? Yeah, you get you. <laughs> you know? And it was. What was it, a 17 uh, and a so what? Good. For that one? Uh -huh, it was a 20. Yeah, something about like the egginess. Every that one. Seems 
Um, see you later. Porfa. Alright, so we're going to try to do this without taking off the strut assembly, but it's not going to work out. Um, it's not coming out, so I'm going to have to just take the screws out, try to mess with this, try to wiggle that out. So, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, raise it, please. It's because this thing doesn't look right now. There we go. Lower it. So here's part one of my axle. So the way the axle came out was in two pieces. So now I strongly believe that that's why I was struggling on Clayhorn. Um, this is what a new axle is supposed to look like. Nice, clean. Help me, can you jack up the car? So, after you hand start these, you can go ahead and start tightening them with your imp. Alright, so, you're going to go and tighten those back up, only six screws. Remember how much play I had before? None of that anymore. Next. Right, so next we're going to put this all back together. And we'll be done. After we put the C-clip back on there actually. Sweet, so. Okay, so. Jack it up right there. Yeah. Right. The bottom one's clear. The top, uh, top one's clear. Lower it a little bit. Peeled my skin.
<laughs> Sweet. So now we can do that. A little battle yeah. score. So next we're going to put our C-clip back on there. Because now you're actually going to be able to pop back out. Alright, so next, you're going to try to push that through, See so it's not coming out, which is perfect, that's what you want. So after everything's bolted up, C-clip's back on, the next thing you're going to do is put the cup back on. So these... Like I said, ours is going to be different. Well, mine's different than most of you guys' because this is aftermarket. There's a manual lock and hubs. Um, your car didn't come with it unless you got it used and somebody already installed them. I have my hubs on free. I'll show you guys free. What that means is this should spin freely. Which perfect it does. So I'm gonna lock it. <laughs> right where my cut is. Lock it. There we go. Now it's not spinning. It spins but it moves a whole this way. You guys see that? So I think that's why it wasn't, that's why I was struggling off-roading because this was just spinning freely and none of this was moving. So yeah, everything's good. Tires ready to be put back on. JK. JK, don't forget to put these back on. See everything I did. Oh, I'm about to jack the car up. And that's pretty much how you do an axle. Scroll it a little bit, but at Fidel here, he's got a Pathfinder too. To I'll tag him. Oh, you guys are all in the video. <laughs> no, take I'm a, me off. <laughs> I do not give permission. I'm gonna put everybody's me. Instagram on the screen. That's me, my, my baby mama. There. That's Fidel, <laughs> Silver Fox. That's Rich Hair Bar slash Zoe Blue Merle wow. That's Meg. And then uh, I'll be showing you guys on Fidel's car what so the stock one looks like. Like I said, mine's aftermarket. It's the manual lock and hubs. His are just like the factory hubs. So I'll make sure that um, I show you guys the differences. Well, all in all, pretty easy job. You know, um, struggled for a little bit. Like I said, I'm not a professional mechanic. I just kind of do this for fun. Do it to save a couple bucks. But yeah, if that helped you guys, please comment, like, and subscribe. Appreciate it. Thanks. See you guys next time.